What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Alex, here. How you doing? So, everyone's already given this year a whole bunch of shit when the year isn't even over yet. So, I'm not going to jump on that train just yet. I'm going to reminisce on a previous year. A year that I haven't told you guys much about. And that is the year 2017. Oh, boy, this year sucked for me. Reminiscing on this year is honestly just painful in and of itself, because this year was a pure nightmare. First of all, let's look at the positives. While well, a number of good things happened that year, I gotta say, definitely was lacking in terms of the numbers. Many, many other previous years of my life have had many more magnificent moments than that year had. In terms of how good they actually were, all the other years just had it better. The year following 2017 had it better. The year prior to 2017 had it better. They're all just better in terms of the positives. Now let's look at the negatives. In my in my lifetime, at least, I don't think a year has had so many negatives. To make a year as bad as 2017 was. That year had so many bad things in it. And in terms of how bad they were. Worse than any other year of my life by far. And if you count it this year so far. In my personal life at least. Yes. They, they are honestly even worse. I was so bad at handling depression. Like honestly at times I just felt like I was completely lost. You know because of the good things that happened way earlier in the year. My ego drove me down. And now, I was just, I felt worthless to tell you the truth. That year just destroyed me. I thought, I, honestly, I thought I would never get out of it. I did, but geez, it really changed my perspective on what not to do as a human being. And I also look back at the reputation. Like I already said, or at least, as I think I already said at least, the year doesn't have a very good reputation when I look back on it. I don't remember as I don't remember it as a good year, as a matter of fact, I remember it as a very bad year. And if you and honestly on top of that, if you survey a group of a hundred people, a thousand people, what did they think of the year 2017? Years later. And sorry, I have an itch with my nose, that's why I've been like moving it. That's off topic. If you ask a group of people what they thought of that year, I guarantee you at least half of them will respond with something quite negative. That year is just overall an unpopular year, and it really tells you something. It tells you that for a lot of people, maybe even most people, there was something about that year that just made it such a bad year. And oh boy, I think we can all, you know, really feel that looking back on it. You hear that name and you're just like, oh, yeah. That year. <laughs> you just had these terrible flashbacks. Because it was... It was just shit. The year was just shit. So much went on that year. So much went on. And it just... It dumbed you down. It dumbed you down. You felt like you were never going to get out of the crap. Eventually we did. But you felt like you were never going to get out of it. And overall, it just sucked. And lastly, let me talk about the grades. The first half of that school year There. <laughs> My nose is getting to me, sorry. But the first half of that school year was this when, when is when I was in the second half of grade eight. The second half of that year is when I was in the first half of grade nine. Those are my two worst school years ever. So you got the two worst school years ever happening in that year. The two worst ever. So in terms of school, that year was as bad as it could possibly get. That year was a hellhole. And as I say with many things I've gone through, I feel so bad for anybody Who's had to go what I went through that year. Because. Whew, I'm going to go insane thinking about it. Simply put. You want to know what I got to say that year? 
It's your boy Alex, signing out.